Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over all the brand new summer 2022 set leaked pictures. Alright, first off here, the daily shout out goes to the underrated YouTuber XD. Thanks for the support on the channel. So make sure to subscribe to him. And if you're new, make sure to comment for a chance at a shout out. But anyways, with that being said, we have a lot of leaked pictures that came out on the official lego.com website. So let's get into them. First up here is going to be the Inquisitor Shuttle at $100 and 924 pieces. With four minifigures, this set is amazing. By the box art and the other pictures given, this set's design is out of this world. Lego has definitely delivered with this set, and I cannot wait to build this for my own. It looks stunning and really does capture exactly what the Inquisitor Shuttle looked like in the show. I'm really proud of Lego for the design, and I can't wait to see what this looks like up close and personal. If you didn't know, Star Wars has made an Obi-Wan Kenobi show, which has Inquisitors in it, spoiler alert. And therefore, this is the shuttle that they arrived in on Tatooine, and they are trying to find Obi-Wan Kenobi. But anyways, watch the series for yourself if you want to know. But anyways, that is the background behind this set. Alright, so here are some looks at the set. It looks very, very clean, very smooth. They use a lot of smooth panels mixed in with the studs to give it that unique Lego look. There doesn't seem to be any major flaws with the build, and overall looks really, really solid, and I'm very excited to build this. But also, that being said here, the minifigures, we get a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi with cloth piece as well as the Grand Inquisitor and two other Inquisitors. Overall, I'm giving the Inquisitor Scythe a 10 out of 10. I do not see how LEGO could possibly have made that set any better. For the $100 price range, it meets the price per piece and gives you anything you could want, as well as a great ship to add to your collection. So overall, great job LEGO, solid 10 out of 10 set. But let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up is the Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter for $30, 282 pieces, as well as three minifigures. This is a pretty cool set. This is the first time we're ever getting a Kaminoan in LEGO Star Wars. And if you can see those cannons on the Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighter, I think those are brand new to LEGO Star Wars, which is also very exciting. We're also getting a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is always really nice to get. Here's a closer look at the minifigures, left to right we have the Astromech Droid, brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi, as well as the Kaminoan. This will be the second exclusive Jedi we get this year after the Mace Windu, so that is really exciting. Uh, looking at the back of the set, looks like you can store the droid somewhere else because only the head will be displayable on the outside if you want to put it on your ship. $30, this is really all you can expect from LEGO, it's just a nice small Starfighter Obi-Wan Kenobi. They did not have to include the Kaminoan, but they did, which I think is a really nice addition from LEGO and really does ele elevate this set. So this is definitely not any six out of 10 set. I'm gonna give the set a solid eight out of 10, maybe even a nine out of 10, because I do think the design is very clean. They're incorporating new pieces and giving us new minifigures as well as two exclusive minifigures in one $30 set. So that's my thoughts on this set. And that's what I have to say. All right, next up here is the Ambush on Ferrix set. The set is $70, has 672 pieces, and also has three new exclusive minifigures. LEGO really seems to be liking these exclusive minifigures in these sets. Every single one has had one so far, but anyways. I did, I did some research. I do not know quite what this set is. I believe it is some sort of LEGO Star Wars game-based set. So if you guys know the answer, please tell me in the comments, because I don't know what this set is based off of. But overall, I think the set is kind of a scam. $70 for some small-looking speeder thing that I really don't particularly find all that attractive, as well as a little speeder and three exclusive minifigures doesn't really seem worth it to me. I do think those minifigures will jump in value just because not that many people will want to buy it. But that being said, I'm going to give the set a 4 or 5 out of 10. I just don't see the value or I, it's just that I really don't know what the set is. So make sure to inform me in the comments below if you're watching this because I don't know what that is. But finally, here we have a hundred dollar with a thousand and sixty two pieces Lego BD one. For any Fallen Order fans like me, this is huge news, and I'm so happy to see BD one make its way into the Lego Star Wars world. If you haven't played Jedi Fallen Order, it's a single player Star Wars canon game. You can get it for your Xbox, PC, console, anything you really want. And it's just a storyline based game. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it is very fun. And people have wanted Jedi Fallen Order Lego sets for the longest time. So this is the first of many, I believe. If Lego is going to produce this set, I had no clue this was even going to come out. But a Lego BD-1 could mean that we get more Jedi Fallen Order sets. This could mean the Mantis. This means Cal Kestis. This is so huge. We could get so many great Jedi Fallen Order sets, and I hope this BD-1 is a sign for the future. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, 
and I hope to see you again soon. So if you're new here and you want and you like my content, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like, and you also have a chance at a shout out. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon.